In this Cricut Christmas project for beginners, I am showing you how you can quickly and easily etch out glass with any Cricut cutting machine. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants your Cricut and crafting channel, where I show you Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. So if you are new around here and you're just trying to figure out how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may want to consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut minute, especially during December. Cause y'all around here on this channel, it is the 12 days of Craftmas where where I have been bringing you all 12 different Cricut Christmas or holiday themed episodes, as well as 12 different chances for you all to get registered to win a huge Cricut prize package because I'm giving away a Cricut maker as well as a Cricut Joy with the hopes that you'll pay it forward and give away one of those machines to a friend or to a family member. I'm also giving away a huge bundle of my favorite permanent adhesive vinyl, which is the StarCraft HD, a 30 foot roll of my favorite transfer tape, a pin pen weeding tool, a squeegee tool, and some other goodies as well. Now, here's the thing. All you have to do to get entered to win is watch these episodes from the very beginning all the way up until the very end. Throughout the course of each of these videos, there will be a hidden holiday or Christmas themed phrase that will be popping up on the screen one word at a time. It'll look a little something like this right here. Whenever you see one of those words, just jot it down and keep on watching all the way up until the very end. And once the video is over, you'll have that full phrase. Now, if you are in the US, all you have to do is text it into me at 502-878-7189. If you are outside of the US, just email it to me at mcpgiveaways at gmail.com. You'll also have all the way up until 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Christmas Day to submit all of your entries. So if you missed any, no worries, there will be a playlist List linked at the very end of this video as well as down in that description box below so you can go back and get caught up on all of those videos all right so now on to today's project which i am so excited for because y'all i recently did a video on the design bundles youtube channel it was actually a glass etching video where i basically did a side by side i did one project that was actually etched to glass with the armor etch glass etching cream and the other one was with an actual etched vinyl like an etching vinyl and I've never done a side-by-side -side like that in terms of glass etching. And I gotta say, I was really, really, really impressed with the etching vinyl or the etched film vinyl. And so that is what we're doing today. I love this technique. It actually looks like real etched glass. And here's the thing, if you ever wanted to remove it and switch it out for something else, you totally can. So first things first, what we're gonna to need to make this Cricut Christmas magic happen is obviously a cutting machine. Y'all know I love my Cricut cutting machines and so I'm using my Cricut Maker, but you can use really any cutting machine that can use SVG cut files. We are also gonna need some, well, obviously etching vinyl, right? And I am using this. This is actually the Style Tech brand right here. It's super affordable. This is actually called Diamond Etch Film and y'all, it sparkles, it shines. It's just all around absolutely stunning. So I cannot wait to see See what you all think about it. We're also going to need some transfer tape. Aren't you so glad that I didn't forget about it this time? <laughs> this stuff is amazing. It's the medium tech transfer tape and it is by far my favorite transfer tape ever. It's so good y'all. You're also going to want some isopropyl alcohol aka rubbing alcohol and if you have some like lint free shop towels that'd be big 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 plus. And you're also going to want a surface to apply all this to, right? Now, I love that you can actually apply this stuff to clear plastic and make it look or appear as if it is glass. However, I'm actually using a real glass surface today. And last but not least, we are also going to need an SVG cut file to make this magic happen. So let's head over here to designbundles.net. And this is the SVG file that I'm using right here. Like I absolutely love this. I think it's adorable and I love the price as well. So it's normally four bucks. It is currently marked down to $2. Obviously it cannot make any promises of what that price is gonna be by the time that you actually watch this video and go check it out for yourself. But I feel like $2 is a very, very, very fair, amazing price. All right, so let's go ahead and hop over to Cricut Design Space. 
here we go right here. And as you can see, I already had this file uploaded onto our canvas. Now, if you are new to this whole Cricut world and you're not entirely sure how to download SVG cut files and how to get those uploaded into Cricut Design Space, I got you covered. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial that I will link for you right up here, as well as down in that description box below. Now, there are a few layers to this, but since we are gonna be applying this as just one single solid layer, all we need to do is just make sure that this is selected and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select to weld. And that's basically just merging or welding all those layers into one solid image. Next thing we need to do is basically just resize this to fit onto our surface. So I'm gonna grab my little base here. All right, so my surface area right here is five and three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna plug those numbers into Cricut Design Space and we can resize this more accurately. So I wanna create a template by coming over here to the left-hand side of the page and clicking on shapes. And I'm gonna open up a square. And I'm gonna go ahead and come up here towards the top of the canvas, right up here where it says size to resize this. And I'm gonna put in here 5.75, four, five and three quarters of an inch. So basically this square right here is now the exact same size as my surface right here, which this is why I love creating templates, y'all. <laughs> so now what I can do is actually right click our design here and then select send to front. And that way I can actually just drag this right over top of our template. I can grab this little resize handle and then just drag that inwards, just like so. And just make sure that this is the actual size we want it to be on our actual surface. All right, so I am really, really liking how that's looking as far as the size goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this out of the way. We don't need that template anymore, so I can go ahead and delete that out. And I can now come up here towards the top right-hand corner and select to make it. All right, so this is just the matte preview screen. It's showing us basically where this is gonna cut out in relationship to our mat. We don't really need to do anything here. So I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right-hand corner and select continue. All right, so this is the base material cut setting page where we basically put in our cut settings for our particular type of material. Now, it is recommended to use the light cardstock cut setting for this particular etched film vinyl. However, I did my test cuts, which I always, always recommend. And I found that for me personally, with my blade anyway, that the premium vinyl settings seem to work out better. But always do test cuts. And what I typically do for a test cut is actually insert a shape, which is usually a star, onto my canvas. I resize it down to about half an inch. Then I proceed to actually go through and cut it all out and weed it out and then even try to apply it. And if it all works out great, then good. We actually have our cut setting. However, if it doesn't, we know that we need to make some tweaks along the way and we can change the pressure we can change the cut setting we can really do whatever we need to do to make it work so I'm gonna come over here and select browse all materials and I'm gonna do a search for premium and I'm gonna select premium vinyl right here and then come down here and select done and I am now going to just load this onto my cutting mat and get started cutting and while that's cutting out I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down our glass surface here with some rubbing alcohol and some shop towels All right, so per usual, whenever I'm removing a material from my cutting mat, what I like to do is flip it over and peel the mat away from the vinyl or from the material instead of the other way around, just to help prevent any, any damage from occurring to our material. Also per usual, I'm using my pin pin weeding tool right here to weed all of this out with. I love this thing and this thing has a little microscopic pin at the end of it that makes it super, super easy to get all the little bits and bobs, like all the little nooks and crannies all weeded out. And it does take a little bit of time to actually get the hang of it or like the feel of it. But I promise once you do, there's like no going back. It's amazing. All right, so we have our edge to film vinyl all weeded out. So I'm now just gonna take this and apply it face down onto this transfer tape that is laying here on my desk with the sticky side facing up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my little squeegee tool right here and then just burnish this down really good. All right, so now I'm just gonna flip this over and then squeegee it down just a little bit better. Can go ahead and grab a little glass surface right over here 
and this has already been wiped down with some rubbing alcohol. Now the reason we apply the rubbing alcohol is because the rule of thumb with vinyl is that the smoother, the cleaner, and the shinier the surface, the better the vinyl will actually adhere and cure to it. So with wiping it down with rubbing alcohol, we're basically stripping away any oil, dirt, grease, grime, anything that would basically build a barrier between our vinyl and its surface. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab some parchment paper because this stuff is amazing. Like I love this little hack for actually applying our vinyl to a surface or for layering vinyl as well. If you have not yet seen my video on that, I will link that for you right up here, as well as down in that description box below. But basically this is gonna act as a barrier between our vinyl and our glass until we get it lined up exactly where we want it to be applied at on our surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing paper from our vinyl. So basically I'm gonna be applying this vinyl right over top of this parchment paper, just like so. I basically want it where this vinyl is just peeking out just a little bit above where that parchment paper ends. That way we can line this up exactly where we want it to go without having to worry about anything down here applying too quickly to our surface. All right, so right about there looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little squeegee tool and then just burnish down the top part of this that's peeking out above where that parchment paper is. And then I'm actually lifting up on this transfer tape right here, just like so. And then I'm gonna pull out this parchment paper and then take my squeegee tool yet again and then just kind of be burnishing this down as we go. And then I can very, very carefully start peeling away the transfer tape. Now, if you all liked today's episode or if you learned something new, it would honestly mean the world to me and help me out so much here on YouTube if you took two seconds to stamp that like button as well as drop a comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you are new around here and you're just trying to figure out the best way to use your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may wanna consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that little bell for all the notifications because I put out new Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week and you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute, especially during December because, well, y'all already know, it is the 12 days of Craftmas, which speaking of, at this point in the video, you should have all of those hidden words that create that Cricut Christmas or holiday themed phrase. So if you are in the US, just text that in to me at 502-878-7189. If you are outside of the US, email it to me at mcpgiveaways at gmail.com. Thank you all again so, so, so much for watching today's episode. It truly, truly, truly means the world to me. And I'm just so extremely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.